There's a big fire out of here. Are you videoing? Oh, this is amazing. I just love looking up at the height of these things. For this video, I'd like to talk about a particular fungal bracket that we found in a tree. And to do so, I'd like to quote a very famous mycologist named Paul Stamets. You can watch his video and this uh, transcript came from this particular video. It was one of, one of the TED Talks. So if you Google TED Talks and Paul Stamets, and it's spelled S-T-A-M-E-T-S. -E um, I, I think you'll really enjoy it. So this, this is his quote. So this one mushroom in particular has drawn our interest over time with a mushroom called Fomatopsis officinalis agaricon. It's a mushroom exclusive to the old growth forest that Dioscrides first described in 65 AD as a treatment against consumption. This mushroom grows in Washington State, Oregon, Northern California, British Columbia, now thought to be extinct in Europe. May not seem that large. Let's get closer. This is an extremely rare fungus. Our team, and we have a team of experts that go out, we went out 20 times in the old forest, old growth forest last year. We found one sample to be able to get into a culture. Preserving the genome of these fungi in the old growth forest, I think, is absolutely critical for human health. I've been involved with the U.S. Defense Department BioShield program. We submitted over 300 samples of mushrooms that were boiled in hot water and mycelium harvested, these extracellular metabolites. And a few years ago, we received these results. We have three different strains of agaricon mushrooms that were highly active against pox viruses. Dr. Earl Kern, who's a smallpox expert of the U.S. Defense Department, states that any compounds that have a selectivity index of two or more are active. Ten or greater are considered to be very active. Our mushroom strains were in the highly active range. There's a vetted press release that you can read. It's called, it's vetted by the DOD. If you Google Stamets and Smallpox, or you can go to NPR.org and listen to a live interview. So encouraged by this, naturally, we flew, we went to flu viruses. And so for the first time, I am showing this. We have three different strains of agaricon mushrooms highly active against flu viruses. Here's the selectivity index numbers. Against pox, you saw 10s and 20s. Now against flu viruses, compared to the ribavirin controls, we have an extraordinarily high activity, and we're using a natural extract within the same dosage window as a pure pharmaceutical. We tried it against flu A viruses, H1N1, H3N2, as well as flu B viruses. So when we tried a blend, and in a blend combination we tried it against H5N1, we got greater than 1,000 selectivity index. I then think that we can make the argument that we should save the old growth forest as a matter of national defense. That ends the quote.